So, I've been a Doctor Who fan for 31 years and I've never written Doctor Who fan fiction before. And I've never done it for her dear Harry Spock because uh, I thought Doctor Who fan fiction would be ten a penny. And then Ellen told me that they've never had Doctor Who fan fiction before, so I decided now was my moment. So I went looking to see what Doctor Who fan fiction was like. Uh, and it turns out a lot of it, uh, the companion teaching the Doctor about sex or female biology, or basically just wanking him off. Um, and I think those stories are really easy to write when the companion is a, a pretty young female. And so, uh, uh, I've decided to sort of like redress the balance a little bit. Uh, so after 31 years, here is my very first Doctor Who fan fiction. The police box materialised with its customary wheezing and groaning, and the doors were flung open by an excitable, eccentrically dressed character. No matter what face they wore, they had always had a slightly offbeat taste in clothes, but 21st century Earth had reached a point where they no longer stood out. So they spent less and less time there. This was the Doctor. And they were excited to have arrived. That was no real change, to be honest. Even though they'd been travelling to different planets and different time zones for well over 2,000 years by this point, they were always excited. Unless they were occasionally being sad to indicate depth of character or something. They ran several paces from the TARDIS, looked up at the sky they'd seen hundreds of times before, inhaled through clenched teeth for some reason, and looked back to the police box. They journeyed with a vast array of travelling companions, usually pretty young women for no creepy reason, shut up, why would you suggest that? The Doctor travelled with company, ostensibly to show them the wonders of the universe otherwise unreachable to them, but mostly just to show off. No, what does it matter that they're mostly a woman? Shut up, what are you implying? Perhaps tired of explaining themselves, the Doctor was currently accompanied on limitless adventures across space and time by Sean who hadn't really got into it as much as the others had, although there was still something about him. The Doctor bounced up and down and urged Sean out of the TARDIS. Eventually, he saw him non-committally out of the doors with his trusty carrier bag. He and the Doctor locked eyes for the longest time, the Doctor pursing their lips and kind of genuflecting. Sean realised the Doctor was prompting him to say his line. Where are we today, Doctor? The Doctor could be a right arsehole. You want to know where we are today? We're on the eye of Orion! Yes! <laughs> You're not bothered? It's alright. The Doctor deflated. See, this is what I mean. I can choose my companions, you know, show you the wonders of the universe, time and space. What of those plants there? Overjoyed at Sean finally showing an interest in where they were, the Doctor prepared one of their grandstanding monologues. Plurismus vicanda. You see, most plants, they attract bees or a corresponding species, via brightly coloured flowers or by the smell of pollen. But these sing. These actually sing. I mean singing flowers. Can you smoke them? I'm not sure this is working out. What are you talking about? Do I engage in the adventures? You tell me to engage in the adventures. When we ran into the Emperor of the Daleks, you asked him for a light. They had one! And another thing, it's really hard to build up a sexual chemistry with you because you're not that fanciable. Well, yeah, I'm a bloke, so that's not going to happen. I'm not always a bloke. I've been a woman sometimes. Have you? Yeah. Why aren't you one now? Because I only received 77% of episodes per year I got as a man. Gonna play that card, am ya? And I had to work twice as hard to be considered half as good. So, you know. Oh, I've had enough of this. Certainly moan like a bird. Don't you want to see the Eye of Orion? I don't give a shit about the Eye of Orion. I'm gonna go back to the TARDIS, watch a bit of telly, have a few cans. Gonna have a wank, are ya? Yes, I'm gonna have a wank. That was the most animated the Doctor had ever seen, Sean. And if the Doctor didn't know any better, they would say that it awoke something inside of them. The door slammed shut behind Sean, leaving the Doctor to look out over the eye of Orion, the most peaceful and beautiful place in all of creation. They had seen it before, though. Loads of times. I'll come with you.